Hey, my name is Aline, I'm an electrical engineering consultant at WSCAD and this is part 2 of a video series in which I'm trying to demonstrate the capabilities of the WSCAD suite. If you haven't seen part 1, make sure to check it out before watching this video. That one is about creating electrical schematics and now we'll have a look at how the panel layout can be built. Just a quick reminder, this is the project we are working on. It's the packaging unit of an installation where a box gets ready for shipment. Now let's have a look at the electrical schematics again. Now I've taken care of some aspects that I've skipped in the first part like placing cables and um, description texts. These are not that vital. Uh, now we are ready to place the mounting plate on the cabinet page. For that we will need uh, cabinet and alignment objects toolbars out of which we can place uh, for example our first uh, mounting plate and after that the cable trays. When placing the cable trays you don't need to work with high accuracy because they will automatically snap onto the mounting plate. Then you will need a DIN rail and like with the cable trays you don't need to work with high accuracy because even if you made a mistake let's say you can always go back to the alignment objects toolbar and this will allow you to for example snap the DIN rail in the middle point of the two cable trays where it's placed. Now the next thing you need um, is the material explorer window where you already have all the elements you've placed in your uh, project. And out of this uh, material explorer just um, drag and drop the parts which you want to place on the mounting plate. You have options to filter, to sort and so on, but it's very easy to just uh, take a part, drag it and drop it onto the mounting plate. Uh, the parts will automatically snap to the middle point of the DIN rail or according to the device's uh, snapping point. Now let's finish placing all the necessary parts. And when you're done, you even have the possibility to automatically calculate the wire lengths uh, between devices or check for collisions on a 3D model view. Make sure to check out the next video in which I will cover creating fluid schematics and downloading parts from WSCAD Universe. See you soon!